Smith Coley. As a, as, as a <laughs> if that's, yes, Smith Coley, that, that's, that's been the conversation, isn't it? Different kind of people, both score a lot of runs. Where, where do you sit on that debate? Yeah, words to very a chalk and cheese. Two completely different people. Um, but when it comes to cricket, they both got the the mental strength, the mental capacity to to, to score runs, and um, they just both love you know spending time in the middle. Um, you know, they're both you know how do I how do I put into a a respectful way is that Virat's passion and drive to score runs is different to what Steve Steve would be. Steve's Going out there for a hit in the middle, that's how he sees things. He's hitting them, he's hitting them out in the middle, he's having fun, he's enjoying himself, just does not want to get out. Virat obviously doesn't want to get out, but he knows, you know, if he spends a certain amount of time out there, he's going he's gonna to score plenty of runs and at a rapid rate, not just at, you know, at 40, he's going he's gonna to get on top of you. And that allows the, the guys that are coming in, especially in the Indian cricket team, you've got a lot of um, players who can be flamboyant as well. Um, you know, that's where they, they stabilise and they, they get the team, they boost the morale. If they score runs, everyone else's morale's up. If they're out cheaply, you almost sense that on the field that everyone's like, oh, okay, now it's, we all got to step up. Like, it's, it, it's a very bizarre situation. There's all this talk, isn't there, about in the world of batsmanship. They talk about Coley and Smith and Ruth and Williamson. They're all talking about big boys. You sometimes feel like tapping them on the back and saying, excuse me, there's a kid. I've not done too badly myself. <laughs> I always, I remember someone was saying to me about Matthew Hayden. Matthew Hayden used to say, us opening batters are just there to take the shine off the ball and make the job easier for three, four, five and six. And, uh, you know, it's, it's it, we don't care about getting the, the accolades or anything like that. We go out there and, and bat because we love playing the game of cricket. It is very difficult to say, all right, how would, how would you know these guys go if they opened the batting? They probably would. Even, they'd probably be even better, and they probably wouldn't get out. Um, you know, some guys would probably say, "Hey, let's just keep these guys in, and we we don't get these guys that come come in at three and four. Like, it's every you can only judge. You know, where people bat, and I, I think the hardest thing is is stats portray not the be all and end all of of, um, of players. I think the greatest players in the world adapt to, to everywhere they play. Um, Australia, we play a lot of cricket at home. India play a lot of cricket at home. Um, you know, what's similar to us, Australia and South Africa's wickets. Um, India play in Bangladesh, they play in Sri Lanka and they play in India. So there's three wickets that are quite similar. Uh, New Zealand and England are both, are both quite similar. So there's this, there's this like sort of Vari variations everywhere you go, yeah. and I just I, I judge great cricketers by scoring hundreds in all those venues in testing times and testing conditions, you know, and and that's where these guys have all done that, and you know they deserve they deserve all the accolades they get, and I think what people ha underestimate is how good of a player Jacques Callis was. That's where playing this game. And having seen a lot of players, watch it growing up, playing and live it, I don't think that guy gets enough. That ball, his catching in slips, incredible, incredible.